law provisions for distribution of partnership profits. So, the basis of division of partnership profit will be net profit before tax kapag general professional partnership kasi tax exempt ang GPP. While net profit after tax naman for partnership other than GPP. For the purposes of this discussion, we will always assume that the net income in our partnership operations discussion is already net of tax. So, once identified na natin yung net profit or loss na for distribution sa mga partners, next question would be, paano yung magiging hatian? Well, good thing may binigay na provision yung ating batas. Okay, so, punta tayo sa Article 1797 ng ating partnership law. It says that the losses and profits shall be distributed in conformity with the agreement, which is Fair enough. Kasi kung may agreement yung both parties, it means na whatever yung ine-expect nilang ma-receive is within their will. And what if may agreement nga, pero ang agreement pertains to profit sharing lang. Hindi nila na-anticipate yung loss, kaya hindi nila napag-agrihan yung magiging hatian pag net loss ang operation ng partnership. So, pag ganun, kung ano yung agreed ratio when it comes to profit, Yun din yung gagamitin nila kapag loss ang na-incur ng partnership. E what if wala talagang napagkasundoan yung partners when it comes to profit sharing? So, sabi ng batas, okay lang, walang problema. Di ba meron kayong contributed capital? So, yung contributed capital na yun, yun yung magiging basis ng division ng profit natin. Kaya lang, paano naman yung mga industrial partner na wala namang nilabas na kapital? So, kaya sila naging partners because of their, uh, it's because of the services that they can give to the partnership. So, kung contributed capital na magiging basis ng profit sharing, ibig bang sabihin, wala silang share sa partnership profit or loss? Yes. So, in terms of loss, the answer will be yes. Kasi ang sabi ng batas, the industrial partner shall not be liable for the losses. Pero when it comes to profit, the industrial partner shall receive such share as may be just and equitable under the circumstances. And if ever, aside from his services, he also has a contributed capital, ang mangyayari on top of his share as an industrial partner, may share pa rin siya in relation naman dun sa kanyang capital. So, article 1798. So, dito naman, ang sinasabi lang dito, pwedeng i-entra sa ibang tao yung pag-set ng magiging hatian sa partnership profit or loss. Pero hindi pwedeng ipaubaya yung mga ganong bagay sa isa sa mga partners lang. Kasi syempre, nandun yung conflict of interest na tinatawag eh. Hindi natin pwedeng sabihin na uh, fair and just naman yung taong yan, kaya nga ako pumayag na makipag-partner sa kanya. So, kung gusto ng isang partner na siya yung magde-decide pagdating sa hatian nila sa partnership profit or loss, kailangan isali niya lahat ng partners niya when it comes to decision making. So, yung manner of distribution of profits per accounting side is based on the law provisions that we have just discussed. Kung may agreement regarding sa profit sharing, yung agreement ang susundin. Kung walang agreement, Profit or loss sharing will be based on the partner's capital contribution. Yun lang mas detailed. Kasi when we say capital contribution, pwedeng beginning capital yung magiging basis ng profit sharing. Pwede rin namang average or ending capital contribution. So, kasama rin sa accounting aspect of profit distribution yung salaries, bonus, and other incentives para sa managing partner or industrial partner.